Blitz. High school football from the field to your screen. Sponsored by Moxie Credit Union and KW Recovery Lab. Welcome to the Blitz. I'm Frankie Tovar. What's up? I'm Eddie Ruiz. And that's right. It's Friday. Why would we be here on a Friday and not a Saturday? Well, know. because Pittman High had a Thursday playoff game. That's right. Pittman High was in the Division I Sac Joaquin section of playoffs. They took on Davis. They hosted them. And Pittman High, they emerged victorious. They bounced back from the Harvest Bowl loss with Moxie. 40-21 yeah. to 21 was the final score. And Pittman High, they tallied 333 total yards of offense with zero turnovers. That's a big, big number. It was a big number. It was a very clean game if we just want to get down to the point. And Pittman executed. And even on defense as well, they held Davis to 303 yards, which is actually kind of similar. But two turnovers, which were critical. They essentially turned yes. over to points. And I think that was a big reason why they were able to win. But let's be real. They were executed on all cylinders, and they were playing great. I thought it was the best game of the year for them so far. That's kind of what I saw. I was just going to say that best, at least the cleanest game, a minimal penalties, no turnovers again. Yeah. Huge number for Pittman. But hey, we can talk about it all day, but you want to see it right now with the Friday Night Highlights. First play from scrimmage right here, and it's a sweep with Peyton Bass hitting the edge. He picks up 13 yards and is out of bounds in Davis territory. And next, we see quarterback Trayton Fair with a nice pass to Bass, and that's good for eight yards and a first down. He signals so we know. And what do you think is going to happen next, huh? I don't know. Well, that's know. right. They give it to Bass. The senior takes it from eight yards out and walks into the end zone to put Pittman up 7-0 early in the first. Davis is going to get on the board right away, and this is a connection we're going to see a lot. Luke Carroll, number six, with Pin Barksdale, and that's a 32-yard pickup. And by the way, like I said, I mean, we're going to be saying these guys uh, for a little bit longer, just so you know, okay? Again, this is going to be a connection. This is the only time we're going to see a tie game. It's 7-7 after that 10-yard touchdown with 4.54 left in the first. And Pittman's second possession ends in a punt. But there's got to be a reason we're showing this, right? What? Well, that's the reason oh. right there. It's a muff punt, Ooh. and it's recovered by Ricardo Aguilar. So Pittman takes over at the Davis 9, and they capitalize quick, real quick. First, they toss it to Bass, who gains eight yards on the play and is down at the 1 before Jacob Partita gets his number called. He takes the ball straight up the middle and into the end zone to make it 14-7 to with a minute 9 left in the first. Pittman's defense holds Davis, three and out, they punt it, check this out, trade fair to Peyton Bass, 27 yard pickup. I like the way Peyton runs too, let's Hard. be real, He, yeah, he's got some skills. And this is the way it ends, Julian Lindo, four yard touchdown, 20 to seven with 10, 22 left in the second. And the Blue Devils refuse to quit though. Here's Payne Barksdale with a shifty 13 yard gain, followed with the QB, Luke Carroll, who decides to make a run for himself. He picks up a big 35 yards and is deep into pride territory, setting up a 19-yard touchdown pass to none other than Barksdale, who baskets the ball and puts Davis within six with the scoreboard reading 20 to 14. So after we see that 2014 score, Pittman, they're not done. Not at least as far as the first half's concerned. Check out that one play. He's back. Denzel Stecker in a 76-yard touchdown pass from Trayton Fair. Makes it 27 to 14. And why am I why are we whining? Why are we whining? Because it's the play of the game. Yeah. And check this out. That's pretty sweet. Steckrin's back. They really missed him. They really, really needed really him last week. Really fast. And that makes it 27-14. At the half, Pittman are up for good. So now we jump to the end of the third quarter as Partita carries the rock for 18 yards. Then Partita gets it again and muscles his way for a gain of six, making way for some speed on the outside with Bass, who picks up eight yards before taking a one-yard touchdown plunge to put Pittman up 34-14. to He finds the hole, takes it in, then puts his hands up in a sigh of relief. So at this point, it's a 20-point difference, but Davis isn't done. They're going to score the last touchdown, that is, on this drive. Luke Kara picks up a six-yard six yard game right there, and he looks pretty good, let's be real. And then he's going to connect again. Barksdale, I mean, we could say this all game long, a 17-yard pickup, and then he connects with number 10, Joey Asta, seven-yard pickup. And then two plays later, this is how they're going to end it right here. It's going to be Xavier Chambers from his man, Carroll. 12-yard touchdown makes it 34-21 with 7.31 left in the game. Oh, and here's some trickery on Pittman's final possession. That's a good old hook and ladder. Steckrin tosses it back to Garza, and that play is good for 24 yards. Then the mischief continues with Pittman's patented Statue of Liberty. It looks like a touchdown, but the refs blew the whistle for some reason. Partita doesn't know why. 
The coaches, they don't know why. And to be honest with you, the refs, they don't even know why. But it's okay <laughs> because if at first you don't succeed, you dust yourself off and you try again. That's right, you try, try again. And here's Partita with another Statue of Liberty oh. from 18 yards out. And he has one defender to beat, so he dives for a thrilling touchdown. Oh my, it's 40 to 21. Under two minutes left, and let's be real, it's gonna be very difficult for Davis to come back. They're trying to throw it. Oh, but yeah, that's number eight again, Barksdale. I mean, again, they're doing a lot of passing this entire game, but check this out. Calvin Paul and Pittman, pick! And this is pretty much gonna seal the deal. This is it, over, victory formation, it's done. 40 to 21, Pittman moves on. Oh, That's the 12th week we've covered football, and I'm not tired of it yet. I hope Never. you enjoy those highlights. Now, before we move forward with the show, let's recognize our sponsors, Moxie Credit Union and KW Recovery Lab. Eddie. What's up, dude? We've had some sponsors for a very long time, but there's one in particular. Every single time I go out and they see this Blitz logo, yeah. they say one name. And what name is that? Moxie Credit Union. If you're looking for any sort of loan, any toy loan, auto loan, if it's the first loan you're ever getting, no need to look further. Check out Moxie Credit Union on gear and let them know that the Blitz sent you. Hey dude, you know after the games, people get a little sore. And by people, I mean some athletes. Where do they go to recover? If that's any sort of a thing that happens No, right that here. is a thing. People need to recover. And all the cool kids I know go to KW Recovery Lab. That's the place to go for injury prevention to get ahead of the game. I'm talking ice baths, cryotherapy, a Normatec lounge area, Mark Pro e-stem, Hyper Ice recovery products, and much, much more. And players, you buy one session, get the second one half off. What a deal! KW Recovery Lab, recover as hard as you train. All right, so when we talk about Thursday's playoff game, for Pittman in particular, we take a look at the quarterback, Trayton Fair, who again, he's been effective all season long. He was 8 of 10 in the game, 153 yards and a touchdown. That looked really nice. And what a Peyton, baller. Exactly, right? And then Peyton Bass, 11 carries, 89 yards, two touchdowns on the ground. He had four catches for 45 yards. That looks nice. Very, very nice. And even though they came up with a losing effort, let's give a shout out to the Blue Devils because, man, they had some very good players, particularly number six yeah. and number eight, Luke Carroll and Payne Barksdale. Yes. Payne, that's his first name. Yeah, Payne. What a Pretty cool cool. name. <laughs> Aside from that, he uh, was throwing the ball. He was rushing the ball. He was even catching the ball. He had two touchdowns. The quarterback tossed for three. And uh, you can see why they did so well in league and made it into playoffs. Unfortunately, they're going home and their season's over. Yeah, and then another thing though to look at for Pittman was the return of Denzel Steckman. We can't mention that enough. That was very I'm important. a huge fan of his, man. I'm just saying, two grabs and 87 yards and a touchdown. That looks really, really good. So he was effective while he was And out the there. play of the game. Just straight on his up. Return. Yeah, I mean, straight saw up, that. straight out, yeah. sideways, all which ways. He catches that ball and he runs it. He's going to be huge, a big impact player for next week. We'll okay. see how he does. But this week's impact player, yeah, who there's only one person, Jacob Partita. Now, he doesn't usually get the flashy plays. He's a battering ram. He's running the ball up the middle this week. 16 carries, 69 yards, and two touchdowns, including that awesome, awesome Statue of Liberty where he dove into the end zone. It looked like NFL status. So it's no surprise that Jacob Partita is our KW Recovery Lab Impact Player of the Game. Feels good. I mean, we're the fourth uh, Pittman team to get their 10th win. So I'm pretty excited. The team's excited. And we're going to get prepared for Monterey Trail and see what we can do with them. Hey, Chalk was like the biggest game of the year, obviously, every, every year. We can lose every game, but if we win that one, that's what it's about. So, I mean, it was hard to bounce back. Long week of practice, but we came back. We kept our heads up, and our offensive line just did an amazing job. You know what? They did exactly what we prepared for. And so we were literally just running circles around them. They didn't know what to do. We're going to have the greatest practice of um, all year next week to prepare for this team because this is going to be the best team we've ever rather than Turlock. And, you know, we have to have the greatest practice. And if we do that, I feel like we can put up a fight and maybe come out with a dub. I just want to shout out my whole offensive line. They're all a bunch of amazing guys, and without them, we would not be anywhere without them this season. We would not be 10-1 and 1 without them. They're amazing. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm gonna take my boy Andrew Vang because that's my homie. He hooks me up with pizzas all the time for Little Caesars. So that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jacob, thank you for that. I know that he hurt his knee, so I'm sure he'll uh, be dipping that in the ice bath at KW Recovery Lab. But we got to talk about the whole team. We talked about the individuals. Now let's talk about Pittman High. 
This was their sixth playoff win in school history, which is very, very great, because you think about that, they tied Turlock. Turlock has six wins. Uh, Turlock's been around for hundreds of years. Not hundreds, but 100 years. Yeah, 100 years. Uh, Pittman's been around crazy. since, what, 2004? So very, very productive for Pittman High. And, and they're 10-1 and one now. They picked up 10 wins, the only the fourth team in Pittman school history to get 10 wins. So we'll see if they can pick up 11 next week when they travel to take on Monterey Trail. Oh, and it's not just a regular Monterey Trail team. You guys have to listen up right now. They are 10 and 0, okay? Yeah. They have scored 496 points in 10 games. They've only allowed nine per game. They're ranked 26th in California. They are ranked 221 in the nation. I mean, I kind of go on. Sorry. I'm just basically yeah. saying, uh, Pittman, you know who you got next week. But if they play this way, let's be real. They could stay competitive in that game. But they have to play like they did tonight and maybe a little bit better. But let's be real. They played really good. I'm just saying, this Monterey Trail team looks dangerous on paper. Uh, I hope you guys are ready. We know you guys are going to be ready, though. I'm just, ah, uh, crazy team. Crazy team. Those stats are crazy. Eddie, calm down, bro. Your anxiety Sorry. is starting to spread to me. But <laughs> as I said, I know Pittman. They play tough. Uh, the Harvest Bowl was an exception to the entire season. Yeah. Every other game they played has been hard fought. Mm -hmm. Some have been close. Some have been blowouts. But one constant mm -hmm. has been Pittman's heart. Roll pride. Good luck next week. We'll be at a different game tonight. In a couple not hours. even next week. Yeah, a couple not hours. too long. <laughs> We're talking about another Division One playoff game mm -hmm. here in Turlock. Turlock High is hosting Kasum's Oaks. It's going to be the number six versus the number 11 seed, and we're expecting another thrilling matchup. Yeah, you guys aren't going to want to miss that. And again, like Frankie just said, we'll see you guys in a couple of hours. I'm going to go home and, and maybe get some rest, eat something, yes. and come right back. Let's so we'll be covering that game tonight, yeah. and the episode will be out Saturday. Sometime Saturday. I can't tell you what time. I don't want to make promises I can't keep. But keep your eyes peeled at TurlockJournal.com. And, of course, on our social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Turlock Journal. So until tomorrow, I'm Frankie Tovar. I'm Eddie Ruiz. Good night. <laughs>